we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section algebra that appeared in a CSIR net examination. The problem is based on irreducible polynomials and this question has appeared in CSIR national eligibility test held on 26th November 2020 and it is from the section C wherein each question carries 4.75 marks. The problem is consider the polynomial f of x is equal to x square plus 3x minus 1. Which of the following statements are true? Options. Option 1. f is irreducible over z under the square root of 13. Option 2. f is irreducible over q. Option 3. f is reducible over q under the square root of 13. Option 4. z under the square root of 13 is a unique factorization domain. We now consider the statement given under option 2. f is irreducible over q. We will discuss the validity of this statement. We have the given polynomial x square plus 3x minus 1 belongs to z bracket x, zx. That is, it is a polynomial ring with the coefficients of the polynomials coming from the ring of integers. We recall mod p irreducibility test. Let p be a prime number and suppose that f of x belongs to z bracket x with the degree of f x greater than or equal to 1. Let a bar x be the polynomial in z p bracket x obtained from f x by reducing all the coefficients of f x modulo p. You know z p is the, the, the ring of integers modulo p where p is a prime number and it is a field. If f bar x is irreducible over z p and degree of f bar x is equal to degree of f x, then f of x is irreducible over q. Now, we take f x, now write down f bar x. f bar x is the polynomial obtained from f x by reducing the coefficients of f x modulo 2. So, x square will be x square plus 3 modulo 2 will be 1 only. So, that will be equal to x square plus 3x means plus x minus 1. So, and note down that a bar of 0 is not 0, a bar of 1 is not, not 0. That means 0 and 1 which are the elements of z2 are not zeros of this polynomial f bar x. So, thus f bar x finds no zeros in z2, therefore it is irreducible over z2 and the degree of f bar x is equal to degree of f of x by the mod p irreducibility test f of x is irreducible over q. Thus, the option 2 is true. Let us consider the statement given under option 3. f is reducible over q under the square root of 13. We have q under the square root of 13 is the set of all elements of the form a plus b under the square root of 13 where a and b are elements of q, the set of rational numbers. So, and uh, it is uh, it is an integral domain and uh, given f of x is equal to x square plus 3x minus 1, let us find uh, its uh, roots f of x is equal to 0 will give rise to its roots minus 3 by 2 plus or minus 1 by 2 under the square root of 13 
and note down uh, minus 3 by 2 plus or minus 1 by 2 belong to Q. So, therefore, it is an element of uh, Q root 13. Therefore, the f of x finds its roots in Q root, Q root 13. Therefore, f of x is reducible over Q under the square root of 13. Therefore, the option 3 is true. Now, consider the statement given under option 1. f is irreducible over z root 13. Now, we have z root 13 is a, again a a integral domain is equal to the set of all a plus b under the square root of 13 where a b belongs to z. Clearly, the zeros of f x does not belong to z root 13. Why? Minus 3 by 2 is not an integer. 1 plus or minus 1 by 2 is not an integer. Therefore, these are not the elements of z root 13. Therefore, the zeros of f of x does not belong to z root 13. Therefore, f of x is irreducible over z root 13 and the option 1 is true. So, we are left with the option 4. The statement given is z under the square root of 13 is a unique factorization domain. And uh, I have already made a video where I have shown z root z under the square root of 13 is not a unique factorization domain. Therefore, here I will give some steps and uh, and uh, may many details are missing here and for details you please consult that uh, video we have z under the square root of 13 is the set of all those elements a plus b under the square root of 13 where a b belongs to z and uh, for the discussion of z root 13 uh, a norm function is needed so define a, a function capital n called a norm from z under the square root of 13 into non-negative integers by norm of a plus b under the square root of 13 is defined as modulus of a square minus 13 b square. And we now consider three elements 4, 3 plus root 13, minus 3 plus root 13 belonging to z root 13. And uh, we note down 4 is a, no, a non-zero element and it is a non-unit element because its norm is not equal to 1. So, and now, this 4 is uh, factorized in two ways. One is 2 into 2, the other is 3 plus root 13 into minus 3 plus root 13. And, we, and uh, the step 1 is to show that 2 3 plus root 13 and minus 3 plus root 13 are irreducible elements in z root 13. And uh, the details are missing and you have to see, consult that uh, video. Step 2, 2 is not an associate, not an associate of 3 plus root 13 minus 3 plus root 13. So, so if, you, if 2 is not an associate of this and associate of this, that means uh, the factorization is not unique and thus violating the second condition of the definition of the unique factorization domain. So this shows that the factorization in 1 is not unique and thereby z root 13 is not a unique factorization domain. And uh, the option 4 is not true. Now, for a detailed discussion of showing z under the square root of 13 is not a unique factorization domain, please consult the, the following video with this title, is z root 13 a, U, a UFD? And uh, the YouTube link is given here. Please watch. And uh, we have the four options under that. Uh, option 1, 2, 3 are true. Option 4 is not true. So, our answer is option 1, 2 and 3 are true. So, that is the discussion of the problem from the section algebra based on irreducible polynomials. I wish you all the best. Thank you.